comme ces vieilles dames en noir qui portent en elles leur histoire. Mama Kosika. Il paraît même que le bon Dieu, il en est tout fou amoureux en la dessinant de ses doigts. Mama Kosika. Well, there we had it. Belgium, Malta, Iceland, Austria, Portugal and France. Panel, there is a lot to unpack there. Some you may not have even thought about yet. I hope, uh, who should we go to? Who looks, Sean, you look like someone who would do some very good choreography. Did you get the Maltese dance in? I love the backing singers. The Malta song, it was fantastic. I agree with Martin. Martin put a comment in the chat room that France is by fest. By, is best by far in this batch. I, I really, really think it is. Um, well, Tony Vegas, Vegas rather, from Austria. It's like, if you were a Tom Jones off wish. What were your uh, opinions on that? I mean, I'm assuming that your favourite was must have been La France. Yes, I, I did like France. But I did, although I liked it, I didn't think it was quite Italian sounding. There seemed to be quite a few songs uh, that were either very French sounding or, or, or Italian sounding. Um, but yeah, I did think it was very uh, relaxing, and um, I think these songs in general were just so much better than the, the first six that, that we had. And uh, yeah, I, th I think uh, Austria would have been good at the start. It, it was so much, um, so much energy, and um, yeah, it, I, th I feel with these songs we actually had people who actually seemed to want to be there rather than the, the first six songs where a lot of them it just seemed like they just couldn't be asked to be there. <laughs> This is this is true. This is true. Um, Mick, let's come to you. Um, Austria. I mean, this was the second consecutive outing for Tony Vegas. Um, he brought a bit of tempo, didn't he, to the proceedings? Definitely, definitely. And, uh, you know, um, you can't go far wrong with a, a title called Maria Magdalena, can you? You know, it's, uh, you know, uh, even Doris Just pinched it later. Doris. <laughs> I was going to say, just ask Doris. It's not, it's not like Doris, I'm afraid. But uh, yeah, it was a good uh, upbeat uh, and up tempo. And uh, yeah, I think that this next batch of songs, things were starting to get a bit more lively. Um, after Finland, Portugal are my favourite Eurovision country. And, and I thought she did quite a good song and her voice was, was uh, uh, really good uh, as well. But um, I, I, I think we should have, uh, you know, justice for barbara you know um you know that outfit wasn't that bad i mean look at me <laughs> but um yeah again that was a, a nice nicely sung song uh so i think yeah it the interest in, in the competition was starting to build up yeah but uh yeah yeah the french one was the one that really did stick out uh, quite a by a mile it was france coming forth there yeah um, just yeah. behind switzerland yeah. Um, Belgium, bottom, 25th place. I know. Um, Alina, Alina, <laughs> as a proud Belgian, uh, how would you rate Belgium's efforts in 1993? I love the fact that it was a Flemish song because I would love to see some more Flemish songs representing Belgium. But um, yeah, <laughs> the only good thing that came out of it was the Barbara Dex Award. Uh, Michelle, as a fashion icon, uh, would you say, you know, the Barbara Dex Award was uh, well deserved, or was the outfit as bad as we've uh, seen? As bad? We've seen a lot worse than that. I mean, come on, why were they picking on her? I mean, I think it is because a Dutchman, um, I think two Dutchmen, uh, created the award, and you know, Netherlands, Belgium, we kind of pick on each other. So yeah. maybe that's why. And also she was butchered in a Dutch uh, TV show or through a Dutch TV host. So maybe I think that's the reason. Yeah. So obviously it was a man. Of course it yeah. was. That makes sense. I mean, he, all right. It wasn't, it wasn't the, the best dress that we've ever seen. But 
We've seen worse than that. Yeah. And, also, you know, I think she made her uh, dress by herself. Yeah. yeah. Well, that yeah. makes it doubly bad. At and, least, you know. And, you know, she's a young, she's a young woman singing there, and she sang nicely. Didn't deserve 25th. It, it wasn't that bad a song. Um, but to be just remembered for having a, 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 you know, a bad dress... Because, I don't think it's, yeah. not, it's not really fair. Look at Celine Dion's dress when she won for Switzerland. I mean, oh my God, that was horrific. And yet, you don't yeah. have an award for that, do you? No. Yeah. Award for almost losing Eurovision because everyone thought your dress was awful. <laughs> she, you know, she nearly, nearly, nearly didn't win because her dress was bad. Yeah. No, I mean, just... the, the thing that sprung to my mind is because you can see, like, the undergarments underneath. And I was reminded of an interview done with Katie Boyle once where I think it was ahead of ahead of thing. Oh, it was a contest in colour. Was it 74 in Brighton? Um, where basically just before the show, they said, we can see your undergarments under the outfit. It's all got to come off and she had to take all her undergarments off. Well, I couldn't help but feel that maybe, just maybe if she'd been a bit more subtle with what was underneath. Because if you see like the, the black kind of strappy top like underneath and things and i'm like maybe if you'd have done something perhaps more but complimentary with the color at one point in the 90s it was all the rage to have a see-throughish top with a black bra underneath it so that's probably uh, why she did it too young for that <laughs> such a lie <laughs> right the other thing i want to talk about uh as we go through these because I think we need to talk about postcards um, because I've noticed that some postcards, you know, Tommy Seaback, you know, we saw for Denmark when the postcard was there, got to enjoy a little tot of Irish whiskey. Um, Need Kavanagh for Ireland goes and, you know, sees some sheep being woven. Poor Portuguese, Annabella from Portuguese. I don't know if anyone actually saw the postcard where they basically put her through a Gaelic lesson. <laughs> Try to do you not think some of some of the artists got broader deals than others panel what do you think there's quite a lot of fish involved i felt sorry for the people who had to be involved with handling fish put it that way but i just i just felt sorry for the fact that and then the instructor comes along and tells her you know how are you getting on and then makes her kind of pronounce the stuff in uh, gaelic and i thought this goes beyond sort of like nice stroll in irish countryside or, you know, little tot of whiskey, or let's go see some wildlife. <laughs> like, sit there, learn some Gaelic. It's like, mm, fair enough. As Lee has put in the chat room, Tom, you're being picky. I'm hosting, it's what I'm paid to do. Paid. Uh, right. You're getting paid? Hang on, you're getting paid. <laughs> I want to know. Yeah, I knew, I knew that had uh, upset some people. Right. Uh, guys, that is uh, our second six songs done. Uh, this has been a Retrovision uh, 1993. It's a wrap for now. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.